What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are having a magnificent day. I am. So, guess what we're doing today? Yeah, that's right. We're, we're gonna be watching a video. You, you read the title, correct? Otherwise you wouldn't have clicked it. So, in today's video that we're gonna watch, Ponies on the Delta, Pony Play Festival in New Orleans. Now, obviously, you guys know, especially for the people who have been here for a very, very long time, you guys know what I do. This is our thing. This is what we thrive on. People dressing up and doing what they gotta do. Like, I'm not gonna intrude, but like, if that's how you get down with the get down, go ahead, oh, get yeah, down. Yeah. But the reason this is just so fascinating to me is because I remember we watched a video, a couple of videos, a lot of videos on, you know, pet play. People either getting down on all fours and pretending they're a dog or a cat or, in this case, horses, ponies, I guess. But I guess we're just going to dive into their world and find out what they're all about, what they bring to the table, why they love to hop around circles in the grass, getting grass stains all over their clothes, going in the house, all that. You get it. If any of you are new to this channel whatsoever, please make sure to drop a like on this video if you at any point in time end up enjoying it. And also subscribe. Why not subscribe? This is a very fun place to be. I'm starting to upload more frequently. Get with the program. Come on, just to have fun. But anyways, without further ado, <laughs> let's, just, let's just get right into this video. Yeah. <laughs> you better stop! I just started the bitch. All right, take a step back. Nothing I haven't seen before, unfortunately. So, okay, fully decked out. I don't know where they bought the clothes, but they on and he tr he trotting, he he walking. I don't know how he carrying that that casket. The what's that a casket? It's not a casket, but like, he got some upper body strength, leg strength, all of it. But he a horse, so obviously it's gonna work. <laughs> Today we are in Louisiana at the Ponies on the Delta Pony Play event. Welcome to Pony Play. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Yeah. Ooh, and they race into this is about to be demonetized in about 45 countries. You know what I also noticed? Imagine if that covering wasn't on his face. He would have spit all on y'all. How would y'all feel if you got spit it on by a horse? Now, I'm not sure if this is just like a yearly event, a festival, a circus, a fair, but they all dressed up and geeked up. Today we're out here having a pony play competition where people compete in events and classes just the same as real horses do. Yeah! Are you sure real horses do this? Cause I don't see horses funneling through little hula hoop type posts and y'all, y'all training horses that hard? See, the difference between a human and a horse is a human can think and has the choice to either choose to interact with that activity or not to do so. A horse is a horse. So if you force it to jump over a rock, it's gonna jump. <laughs> Brian, don't. Uh... But this, this is a field day worth of activities. If I was in school, I'd expect no less than a B plus because that's a lot of running and that hot ass, sweat ass suit. Get, get, These get, events get. are very competitive. Just like a regular horse show event, we end up with some crashes and wrecks. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, they were they were hitting the jets. You saw how fast they were taking off. That is a 10 second 100 meter dash. I'm just gonna press play. <laughs> I'm just gonna press play. People go down over the jump. The competition gets pretty crazy sometimes. I'm gonna beat you so hard. Who, who is she gonna beat? The whole off of that, there seems to be a lot of <laughs> There seems to be a lot of oopsie daisies in this in this um, festival, right? Everyone's dressed up. Everyone has the equipment. They are ready to roll. I wasn't expecting these type of dramatic casualties to take place on the field. A lot of spills. You don't want your horse uh, to get their shoulder dislocated, you know? Oh my gosh. This is the blindfold obstacle course. Ponies are going to be blindfolded. <laughs> They're going to be hitched to a cart. Their uh, handler is going to have to guide them through the course. <sighs> they cause any faults, they'll lose points, and we're about to see them get their first go at it. When I'm doing pony play, I'm, I'm pretty free and wild. I keep the car. <laughs> Drop the attitude, because you're pulling someone else. You know what I find also interesting is that with the types of activities they're technically doing, <laughs> to be honest, I low-key would be down to do it, but the difference is I'm not dressing up. That's where the cutoff is. Because if you gather adults in a confined, you know, private area, and you do certain activities, uh, Albeit, but the activities alone is enough. I'm not dressing up in no 110 degree plus temperature based 
sauna sweatsuit to jump and hop and skip and shit on a field. Just me. But you know, I give him props for staying in character because stuff like this, I just, I could not have, I, I couldn't be an actor. It's so hard to tap into it mentally to get in that capacity to just know you're doing certain things. It's tough. It's a tough job. So considering they're just fluttering around like butterflies, they are having the time of their lives. So happy for them. Bitch, I'm not stepping on not one piece of soil with that suit on, no. Nope. Well, you know, and uh, really just try to give them a really hard time, so they really have to uh, try to keep us uh, to obey, but it usually doesn't work in their, their favor. Step up. I fall into that space and I'm a pony when I do that. <laughs> Besides all the kicking, um, sir, uh, pony, I can't even hear him. He could have at least taken the mask off. Like, <laughs> what does he say? I just can't get over how such a workout that is. Like, damn, I don't even like going to the gym. What makes you think I'm going to carry a human being for free, unless there's a cash prize, down a field of grass? Free, I run around. I gallop, I jump, I snort, I whiny, and I nuzzle, and I get the head scratches. <laughs> that will always be my favorite part. All of our outfits that we make are based off of bio horse equipment or made out of bio horse equipment that's been rearranged to fit humans. Uh, so you just chewing on a metal bar? Like, I know horses wear them, but can't you get sick from doing that? You see what I mean? It's just so much going on. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm sorry. He just was getting rubbed down and petted on the forehead like a, somebody chihuahua or something. Now the bar, uh, you see what I mean? And also he mentioned they make all of those. That's insane. That That's sick. That, uh, that's honestly sick. If you make them all, because <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, everything on me is custom made. Um, my ears are made from old boots, and then I added some fox fur for it to make it a little bit fuzzy, uh, kind of get that Shetland look. The muzzle is custom made from a friend named Daisy Doll. Uh, custom made the bridge, which is a uh, French braid. But uh, the suit I did custom make, you know, added the, the markings and everything to give me more of that, that Shetland breed look. And underneath this. Hey, guess what? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> His booty looked like that. Now I don't know if it was the way he was standing, but he he had a little cur he had a little he had a little curve on the on the uh, cheek back and the ass. I love you. My favorite toy. <laughs> the tack, as the uh, the pony equipment is called, uh, is a very essential part for most people. Your favorite toy? What happens after the field session? Please don't tell me there's an after party. Y'all need to go to your house, please. Go on. I just, I feel like I want to turn my camera off because I'm actually starting to have a panic. Like, they're just galloping around the... Like I'm turning into the pony. This is just a lot. I'm sorry. Like you, we've done so many videos on this channel about these specific types of subjects. But when you see people in abundance doing them, it's just hard to grasp it. When me, someone who has never normally seen stuff like this, is seeing it. So you can't blame me. I feel a headache coming up. I do. But it's also very important to adopting that role and being able to change from the human aspect to the pony aspect in a headspace kind of way, like really right. get into character. So looking the part is a big part. Of playing, playing the part. part. Yes. And when it comes to pony tack, it's a lot about individual expression. Yeah, everybody's a little different. See, that's exactly what I said. I just can't imagine myself getting into that type of mold or character. Because it's different when you're an actor and you're just playing another human because humans have emotions and you can kind of snap into that. I don't know what a horse or a pony is thinking. They probably thinking wheat and running through the grass with butterflies. I don't know. How are you able to just snap and then you're just full horse? If I say your name, you don't respond, but licking your hand and spitting on my face. I don't know how to handle that. So this is, again, a lot, but like I get it, but at the same time, I don't, cause I don't even know if I could fit in that suit, yet alone uh, sprint in the grass. A lot. It's a, I don't wanna say it's a one way road, but it's definitely a hole once you get in it. It's a slippery road. It's a slippery road. <laughs> Make a slippery road, I don't see myself sliding down. Cause how you gonna crawl back up, you see? And it's about expressing your, your inner personality too. Cause so many other people, I'm sure I can speak for, live um, 
a life Monday through Friday that's not really a, an expression of who they are, what they yeah. do. It's what pays and, their bills. And when you get a chance to come out here and you get to enjoy what you do and be around other people who enjoy similar things yeah. and enjoy it with them, it's a, it's a great feeling. The freedom to be weird. Yes. I very well understood that last part. I get it. You know, during the week, you can only do so much. Obviously, you know, when your life gets to you, whether you have a nine to five job or you just really have to buckle down and take care of responsibility. I get it. If I'm seriously being serious, I get that. If you ever have a window of space in which you could just go all out and be 100% your authentic self or get to do something you want to do, then by all means, go do it. I just don't think I really could fit in that suit, y'all. And y'all talking about me, I, I just can't see myself jumping. But they seem to love it, so let's just have them love it. This was a very, 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 very interesting one. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I do apologize for constantly bringing you guys in my BS that I tend to post on the channel. But you have no choice, because you subscribe to me, so hopefully you enjoy. Again, if you are new by any chance, or just haven't subscribed yet, yet you've watched me multiple times, please feel free to subscribe and also drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. I need to take an aspirin, because for some reason, I feel lightheaded. I have no idea if it was because of the video, or just I didn't drink enough of water but we're just gonna get on that but until my next video i will see you guys later peace out